Jed Herman writes, Perhaps in your area, the nurses will administer drugs off a PRN prescription chart. But where I am, we need to do the paperwork and much to my frustration, all of the prescriptions. It'd be cool if we could go into medicines and have a shortcut that prescribes those as a set. Any ideas? For those of you that don't know me, I'm Mike, I'm a GP in Manchester, UK, and I'm also a university tutor at one of the medical schools nearby. And in this short video, we're going to create a super automated palliative care protocol in EMIS. Finally, if you stick around to the end, I'm going to show you a trick in EMIS that will literally blow your mind. So let's get started. In this last video, I showed you how to import documents into EMIS and have EMIS pre-populate the patient details using mail merge variables. So let's build on that and create a protocol that will incorporate that document and add all of the prescriptions for us. As always, we start with the EMIS ball in the left-hand corner, go down to configuration and resource publisher. Make sure you're at protocols and templates, go to your practice, right click, new folder. Let's call this GP on the move. Let's go to our folder, add protocol. Let's move the start button to the side because this is gonna be a big protocol. And I wanna start with the clinical code, add data. Let's click on the magnifying glass and let's use the prescription of palliative care anticipatory medication. Click okay and move it underneath. Next, what I want to do is I want to launch that document that we talked about last time. Man, this is sounding like a proper educational series. Scroll down, launch document. And this is the document that we did last time, Anticipatory Medication PRN. There we go. Now, as I mentioned, that document is from the GMMG Palliative Care Pain and Symptom Control Guidelines for Adults, and the algorithms start at page 100. All right, let's start connecting the dots. Start, add coded data, launch document. Now, after we launch the document, let's get some drugs in there. Add drug, and we'll start with the morphine. Okay, let's move that up here. Let's add another drug, levomopromazine. Add another drug, midazolam. Move that. Now we might want to zoom out here. Add drug, glycopyronium. Here we are. Move that underneath. And for good measure, let's add some water for the injections. Add drug, water for injections. 20 ampules. So again, let's start connecting the dots. Before we do that, I'm going to add an end to the protocol in decision nodes. End protocol, it's gonna be right here. So we're connecting the launch document to the add drug, then success, add drug, success, add drug, success, add drug, success, add drug. Scroll down, and if everything works, I want to end the protocol. We're gonna give the user some options to cancel if they're doing something they're not supposed to be doing. So let's connect the cancel to our end node. Yeah. Right, and that's done. So let's go to save and close. Let's make sure we go down to our folder and let's call this Palliative Care Anticipatory Meds Protocol. And let's save. So I'll be honest, sometimes if Emus crashes, I'll just try saving it into a different folder and that normally works. Don't ask me, man, this is Emus. <laughs> let's close this. Right, and there it is, palliative care anticipatory meds protocol. So once you have the protocol, make sure you activate it. Right here, activate. And let's see if it works. Add a consultation, gold standard, palliative care framework, and let's click F12. So at this point, we want to add our protocol to the protocol launcher. Right click in an empty slot and click on add. Find the protocol you're looking for. So ours is the palliative care one. Yeah, here it is. Palliative Care Anticipatory Meds Protocol. So as you can see, it added the clinical code, Prescription of Palliative Care Anticipatory Medication. Now it's loading up that document that we created last time. You can see that everything is pre-filled. I'm gonna close this. And now it's gonna start loading up the medication. It starts with morphine, goes down to levomopromazine, midazolam, glycopyronium, the water for injections. And that's all done. Finally, I promised you a bonus at the end that will literally blow your mind. You might not know this, but I'm a metric guy. I work in kilograms and in meters only. And so does Emus. So when a patient tells me they weigh nine stone four, I am none the wiser and I have to Google it. I mean, how amazing would it be if in Emus, I could just write nine stone four and Emus would do the conversion for me? What about height? 
What if they said they were five foot six or something? Right, that's it guys. I hope that was informative. If you did find that useful, give me a thumbs up and like this video and you can also leave a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like these, please subscribe and you can also email me directly. Otherwise, good luck.